Hi. Today we're going to discuss on the topic electricity. I want to bring your attention to a question that involves circuit tester and circuit cuts. Because I see that this are the question that appears very often in exam and tests, uh, either in MCQ or in section B. And yet some students are still quite confused with how it works. So I thought I'll do a quick demonstration using very simple apparatus that I think you can even do at your own house. Alright, shall we begin? So let me show you the components of a circuit tester. We have the batteries, which is the source of electricity. We have some wires and the crocodile clips. And we have the light bulb. Alright, so these ends are free and it's used to test the material to check whether they are conductors or insulators of electricity. Now for instance, um, this is a piece of metal, there's a fastener. Now if I put on each end of the fastener, you can see that my light bulb lights up. Okay? So, reason being, um, there is a closed circuit over here. So electric current that comes out from one end of the battery can go through the circuit without interruptions and goes back to the other end of the battery. Okay, when that happens, we say it is a closed circuit, electric current can flow and it can flow through the light bulb and cause the light bulb to light up. Alright, now on the other hand, I'm going to use a piece of paper. I'm going to clip on to two ends. You can see that my light bulb did not light up. Alright, because there is a gap. This piece of paper caused a gap in the circuit that electricity that comes out from one end of the battery cannot go past this paper. Yep, and so it caused a gap here and that electricity cannot flow through the uh, light bulb and cannot go back to the battery of the other end. So this is how circuit tester works. Yeah, so then let's look at a question that I commonly ask. Here. Lin used a circuit tester to test a circuit cut and tabulated the result in the table shown below. Let's show you quickly what a circuit cut looks like. So this is a simple circuit cut that we did it out that, that, that I do it myself. Yeah, so I'm using fastener. So these are electrical conductor at different points. Alright, so you can see. So this is circuit cut. So what it means is that when A and B is clipped on, alright, when I clip it onto A and when I clip it onto B. All right, um, the light bulb will not light up. Okay, now so if I clip it on onto circuit card P and then it lights up, it immediately tells me that this is not the card that Lin has used. All right, so next, let's just look through the entire question. Find out which of the cards Lin could have tested. So for me, I usually likes to look at. Um, the result that is unique among the rest of the results, it can speed up my process of elimination. Okay, so clearly here I can see that the clips B and C will cause the light bulb to light up. Yeah, so I will very quickly test all the circuit card given to me and make sure that um, those with B and C stays but those without will go. Okay, this will, this will help me to eliminate all these answers that are, that are incorrect. Okay. So our task is to find out which one are the ones that Lin has tested based on the card, okay, how it is being connected by the wire, and it must yield the same results in the table shown. And we are talking about every single result has to be shown. Okay, meaning to say, if I put on the clips on B and C, it lights up, it doesn't mean that that card is the one Lin has used. It must also, uh, it must also show that when A and B is clipped, the light bulb will not light up. A and E, A and F, and all the rest um, listed in the table, the light bulb will not light up. All right, in order to tell me that card is the one that Lin has used. All right, so let's take a look at P. So this is the one that I just did. It's exactly the same as the one shown in the picture. Yep, so first thing first, I will always test B and C. Because if it doesn't light up, immediately I can eliminate this as a choice. Alright, and I see that it lights up. Okay, so now, to be systematic, you will go down the rows. Okay, we will test A and B, A and E, A and F. Alright, um, alternatively, if you want to do a shortcut, you can actually look at the one that has been connected. So I can see A, B and C. 
and you can check whether the third tested involve any of this pairing. Alright, so in this case, I have A and B. So A and B is connected by the wires, so I can test A and B first. Alright, and it's not supposed to light the bulb. However, it does. Alright, you can see that my light bulb actually lights up. So this means that this circuit card is not the one that Lin has used. So I can pull it away. And now I'm going to do the same thing for Q. Yep. So first, I'll always be testing B and C to make sure that it lights up first. And yes, it did. Alright. Now, next. So I'll be testing A and B and it shouldn't light up. And I'm just going to clip A. And I'm going to clip B. B and F. No, D and F. Oh, D and F lights up. So this card is not the one that we want. Alright, this is not the one that Lin has. After so much, it is not. <laughs> Alright, now we can test on. We have R. Test B and C first and see whether this is the one that I that will lights up. And no, it doesn't. So now immediately I can eliminate this card. Alright, now I, I do it for S. So same thing, I'm going to do B and C. So this is the card that Lin has used. But just let us double check the remaining two in case you use more than one card. Yep, so I have T. Alright, so the same thing, I'm going to do B and C first. This is also one of the cards that Lin has used. So lastly, we have U just to double check. Maybe she uses, maybe she used three instead of two. So same thing, I'm going to check B and C. I know that the one that she had used, circuit card S, circuit card T, and circuit card U. So this is a simple demonstration of a circuit tester. Example, like circuit card T. So we have the connection over here. So B, C, and D, they form, they form a circuit, right? Now, so what happens when I clip B and C? So you can see what is happening here, all right? You must be able to figure out whether there is a closed circuit form in this, in our, in this case. So it always starts up in the battery. Electric current comes from the battery. It goes into the wire. It goes to B. All right. So you look to the front. All right. It goes through the wire. It touches D. It goes back to C. And from C, electric current flows through the light bulb. And it goes all the way back to the other end of the battery. All right. From this, you can see that there is a closed circuit for electric currents to flow. Yep, which is why the uh, light bulb lights up. However, let's just try. If I'm going to put it at A, why doesn't it light up? So do it again. Electric current from the battery comes out. It goes to A. All right, however, A does not allow the electric currents to, go to, 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 to move any further, right? Because there's no other connection. Alright, so over at A, there is a gap. So since there's a gap, electricity doesn't flow, and my light bulb will not light up. So this is the whole idea of the circuit tester and the circuit cut. And um, stay tuned for more videos coming up um, with more demonstrations to help you to understand science concept. Alright, bye!